my husband. Obi. Obi. Look at this sleeping outside. Right. What has she done this time? Jesus! What do you like causing me heartache? I, I was having fun with her in the dream. And she woke me up at the climax of the, the, the phone. To me, hey. to Wale in job. May God forgive you. That was so painful. So you want to kill her? Hey. Hey. How stupid. Hey. 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 You might not put that. Hey! Who's in this house? Who is in the house? Who's in the house? This whole madness must come to an end today. John! Who is in the house? No, no, no. Over my dead body. Over my dead body will I fold my hands and watch my only beloved daughter die in the name of useless marriage. John! You are hiding there, eh? John, you are hiding! Go ahead and hide! But listen to me, John! It is pointless! Pointless for you to hide because I will find you out! Mama John! Mama John! Mama John, listen! This is a warning! This is a warning! If I come back here and I don't see you, I will set this whole house ablaze. Did you hear me? Go ahead, but I'll find you out. It must end today. All this madness, it must come to an end today. I'm leaving for now. I am leaving for now. But I'll come back. Father-in-law is there with a gun. He might shoot you if he sees you. We don't want any bloodshed here. Just go. Come back later, please. By the time I come back, you are still here, both of you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ibe, whatever I give you, you take. Listen, young lady, listen. Annabelle is my wife. And Miss Tibe has no right to intrude on in whatever differences I might be having with my wife. I'm going in there now to see my wife. My beloved wife and no one. Not even my father in law can stop me. Please, Mr. Jones, please. Please, we don't want any trouble. Please. Mr. John. What is wrong with you? You're beating your wife again. You have. As a matter of fact, he would not like to see you anywhere near this hospital. I would suggest you take your leave now. You need to change.
Papa. Sorry. Tell me what, Dad. What, what is it? Are you telling me you, you have not had? Tell me what, Papa. He should thank his God that I did not set my eyes on him today. He would have been a dead man by now. Papa, who are you talking about? You're confusing me. What is it? Papa, I don't understand. Who, who are you? John? Is it, is it not that useless John? That good for nothing in law of yours. Of course, you know his usual offense. Papa, no, Papa. Papa Don't tell me no. Papa, no because he has done it again. Ah. Ah. Papa, Papa, you make me kiss somebody. Papa, Papa, you know. Papa, you know, you know, you know. Please tell me it's a lie. I, I refuse to believe. I refuse to accept that this boy, John, has laid his hand on my sister again. Of course, John has done that again. Yeah. Very John right. has hit your sister again. Ah. Go, go, go. Listen, son. I have decided that your sister will not go back to that marriage. Ah, Papa, 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 you have said what I want to hear. Ha, ah, Papa, since I know you as my father, Jesus is Lord. This is the only moment, the only time you have made sense as a father. God will bless you. You mean to tell me that my decision to sleep with your mother, to have you as a son, did not make sense? I don't really know. But the truth is you have just made sense. And I'm happy. Go to the hospital and see her condition. Is it that worse? You're asking me. Go and see for yourself. John. John, John, John. Papa, do you know what? Eh? Stop stressing yourself. Calm down. I know you can take care of John. But it's a fly. When you use your, your might and your hand to hit the fly, you will break your hand. Leave him. Just go inside and rest. Take your bath. Eat good food. All I need you to do for me right now is that contact uh, uh, Okafo. The, the capital. I heard he makes good caskets. Ah. Uh -huh. Look for the one that suits him, his size. I believe uh, he's not more than like how many inches. Look for his size that suits him. Because today, today, I will dance naked for that boy. I'm coming back. John! That suits him. I'm sorry. John, you're now satisfied. Are you now satisfied? John, are you now satisfied? John, you got that mind. John, you got that mind. You have the heart, the effort tree to raise your hands. On my sister. John, you raise your hand on someone's sister. Your wife, a woman that truly loves you deeply from her heart. Despite all my pleading, John, you begged. We forgave you, but you continuously beating up that innocent girl. But your conscience is asleep. You don't even care. But all you want to do is to beat her up every time you feel like. You think you're wrong. Uh, uh, but let me tell you, this time around, this time around, you have beaten more than you can chew. Jackson, in all honesty, I'm so sorry for everything that happened. And I make a promise from the bottom of my heart that this will never happen again. Please, do calm down. Let us settle this amicably. Thunder! John, may thunder with little lightning, with ten cups of madness, fire you there! You and I settle what amicably, you and I. You and I have nothing in common. I don't have your time for now. But let me go to that hospital and see what you have done to my sister. Ah, pray nothing happens to her. Because if anything should happen to Annabelle, ah, 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 you and I will dance naked in this village. See, no problem. John, if anything happens to Annabelle, if anything should happen to my sister, John, get two caskets, one for her, and the other one is for you.
just let anything happen to her. Let anything happen to my sister. about this money. Why are you greeting me in the first place? I don't have to say anything to you until I set my eyes on your mother. Come on, go down and fool your mother. How do you know about this? I, I, I thought you were still at the market. My dear, I heard of the terrible news when I was at the market. I decided to come and say things for myself. Come on, I'm going to get my Is she okay? No, I'm okay now. Let me go and say things for myself. I'm going to get my My beloved wife. Eh? Beloved game. Wife. <laughs> Brother, assistance now. Nobody is sure of her recovery. Eh? You wouldn't have beaten her that way. I don't Amara, you are my sister. And you know me very well. You know I've never been a violent person. In the inception of this relationship, I was not this way. I was not like this. I I, I do not know what has suddenly come over me. Uh, uh, you, you said her condition is deteriorating. Hmm. Uh, are you serious about what you're telling me? Yes, of course. The doctor even insisted that we take her to another hospital, like a bigger hospital. Yes. Eh? That nobody is sure of her recovery. That she might not even survive it. Eh? is Zenian, adding that the situation of her health is very critical. Even now, Chokwe Wagibu Nikin Jawa Sochuadrum. Hey. 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 What have I, what have I done to myself? John, John, what have you done to yourself? Can you find Jesse I'm sure by now your father is turning in his grief. This is not the kind of son he was expecting. An irresponsible husband. Hi, Shinek. Now, can you give me just one example where your father laid a finger on me? You can't answer. Because he never did. What kind of a human being are you? You're a disappointment to this family. This is totally not acceptable. Uh, 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 Mama, uh, I'm so sorry for everything that happened. I, I make you a promise. It will never happen again. It will never happen again. Never again, Mama. It has happened not once, not twice, not even three times. You beat up your wife for, for no just cause. How do you expect your in-law, Miss Tibet, to have so, uh, uh, any regards for you as an in-law? You see, it will never happen again. I don't understand you. Where are you, idiot? I, I told you I will be back here. I have come and face me. Come and face me! I will deal with all of you! A young man, you have no right to invade my father's compound and rain abuses on me, irrespective of whatever might have happened. So get out! Get out! Ah. Huh. Hey, Mama. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, Bikoma. 
I'm sorry for the for the noise, eh? 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 My my wonderful sister, please don't be upset with me. Don't mind me. My own goes and comes. I don't even know. I don't, I don't, I don't even know when I walked to this place. Eh? Eh, but I John, I'm leaving. It will never happen again. No problem. Sorry for yourself. Get out! It will never happen again. Having this happen almost every week. But please, let's set to this without violence. Eh? L -l -l let's follow up this case with matured mindset because you know, eh? we all know that John, my brother here, was never like this at the beginning of the marriage. Eh? I don't know what happened. Our responsibility now is to know the cause of this problem and how to tackle it because you know, eh? but you know, oh, because because now, man. Eh? Why are your people? Temper uh, 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 justice with mercy. Please, I know what my son did is wrong, but Biko, Biko Kene. Mama, you caused this, oh? Yeah, it's your fault. Eh? See, not not all pregnancy you just keep. There's some there's some people you need to watch their destiny. That's going to be problem. This one is the problem. Eh, if you are taking something to flush, flush this bastard. He won't be alive. Put my sister up and down every day, anytime it feels like. Jackson, will you shut up? I will take everything from you, but what I won't take is for you to come here and insult my mother. You will faint if you shout too much. No, you don't have liver. Ah, now, my listen, you're a small boy. Listen, the next time you have the gods and the effrontery to step into my father's compound and sprinkle insults and insolence on my mother, you may not leave to tell the tale of what will happen to you. You see, if I ever, am I warning, if I ever, See, don't cross to my sister again. Just get him with you because I will break his legs. I will cripple him. If you do not step out of my father's compound, mm. Mm. I'll break your jaw. You break my jaw. I'll leave. You break my jaw. I'll leave. I've said what I have to say. Nothing, there is nothing you will do. John! 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 Huh? I've been calling you for a while and you're not answering. What's the problem? You know exactly what could put me in this frenzy mode. Frenzy mode? Truthfully, I can't still explain what came over me. Whatever I did, it was not intentional. I, I did not just beat up my wife on purpose. Do you listen to yourself? You're actually telling me cock and bull story. How can you tell me that you didn't know when you hit your wife? That's very bad. I've warned you severely to stop beating this girl, but John, you wouldn't listen. Huh? You've practically subjected that girl to nothing. She can't even boast of this marriage. That's very bad. Uh, 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 you know you're my friend. Uh, as a matter of fact, you are the only friend I, I have in this village. Please, can I ask you for a favor? And what is it, John? Could you please spare some time and accompany me to Marzi Bay's house tomorrow evening? Bikunu. To do what? I want to go and tender a sincere apology to my in-laws for my ill behavior. John. John. I know. I'm sorry to disappoint you, no. I'm not going there with you. Of course you know Mazi, but he's very adamant when it comes to cases like this. You don't expect me to follow you there. I can't risk my life. I can't. So I'm sorry, maybe you 
you can call Chibizi to accompany you. But for me, I can't. Sorry. Meanwhile, I came to confirm if what I heard is true and actually, it is true. Hmm? Keep hitting your wife. She's a punching bag. I'm leaving. Okay. I'm leaving. Hurry up with that so you can go and wind it in the market. I'm almost done. You know this thing is not easy. Huh? Mm. I'm trying to do it now. It's not easy. But when you eat it, it's easy. Because once you go I'm not going to Mama, I'd love to have a word with you. I've made up my mind to go and see Ibo, to turn down an apology to him over my ill behavior. And uh, I would love you to accompany me. I know that seeing you will make him soften his heart. And that will help make him accept my apology and give me back my beloved wife. She's not a beloved one. She's not a beloved one. I've come up. Don't enough of your nonsense. I am sick and tired of your behavior. Now you're looking for someone to escort you to tender apology to bring back your beloved wife. Please get out of my sight, Kamaliana. Win it, Maro. Please get out of my sight. I don't want to get upset. Get out. Your beloved wife. You didn't know she's your beloved wife. Hmm. Mama, I never knew you would be this mean to John. I'm not being mean to you. I'm just being cautious. Eh? I'm, I'm just trying to make sure that Uche Dinifone is he's together because of any eventuality. You're right, Mama. At least with this, he will never in his entire life think of laying his hands on his wife. Eh? That is, if anyone agrees to go with him. Who would go with him? You know, the problem is I've been too soft with him. I've been too lenient with him. That's why he's taking me for granted. He wants me to escort him. Look at that last again. The shame. Every time he... No, no, please. Let's not even go there. Before. Let him go again. By the time he goes there over and over again, he will learn to behave himself. Okay, sir. Uh, once again, John, you're welcome. Thank you, Uncle. How's your mom and the marriage? Yes. They're very well, Uncle. And uh, uh, how is your health, sir? Hmm. I thank God at least today I have seen to this life. So there's no problem. Uh, 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 Uncle, uh, I brought you this, uh, this wine uh, as a token of appreciation from the very bottom of my heart. <laughs> you know you have been a very good uncle to all of us in this family. It's alright. No <laughs> God bless you, sir. You're welcome. God bless you, sir. Mm. Uh, so, who uh, brought you here this ceremony? Uh, uh, uncle? Uh, uh, I, 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 I have a very little problem, a very small problem that uh, I, I would love you to, to assist me with. Well, I shall only assist my son. If the problem is within my powers to help, I will do that. I will. Um, uh, I would love you to follow me to Mazi Bay's house this evening to bring back my beloved wife. 
I, Chifokoro, should accompany you to Mr. Ibe's house. I have been wondering why are you stammering? Because, Suridi, I know that you are not a stammerer. You have been finding it very, very difficult to voice it out because you know what I'm going to talk. Me. I myself, Chifokoro, to accompany you to Ibe's house. Yes, Uncle. Is that what brought you here this morning? Yes, Uncle. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. I will not follow you to Mr. Ibe's house because it's becoming a hobby. Do you know that your problem with Annabelle has made me, has automatically made me and Mr. Ibe to become cat and dog in this village? Do you know that? And you are the cause. Uh, uh, uncle, uh, 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 it's true I've, I have been misbehaving all this while. And uh, it is equally true that my attitude is becoming quiet unbecoming. But, but please, I, I, I want you to find a place in your heart to, to forgive me. Remember to err is human. Why to forgive is divine. We are all humans and we are prone to making mistakes. I want to make you a promise. Just follow me this once and after this, hmm. I will never beat my wife again you john making promises that you won't do it again is it not the john i know too well are you talking to visitor in fact simply put i am not moved by your promises in the sense that this is not the first one neither is it the second one you're making such promises you understand me so I'm very, very sorry. I cannot accompany you to Mr. Ibe's house. I'm very, very sorry for the disappointment. You get me right? Un un uncle, remember you are my father's brother. Uh, you're uh, right. Uh, and you are my father equally. Of course, I know that I'm your uncle and equally your father. But um, your attitude is something that I cannot accept. You know how to me. You know what? You have to go with your brains. I don't accept such offer, my son. I don't accept it. And on a very serious note, never you come back here again to discuss with me anything concerning you and your wife, Annabelle. I hope I have made myself clear. Uncle, the, 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 the wine is actually a, a gift from my heart. You can keep it. You can, you can use it to entertain visitors. I have nothing to do with it. Please go with your drink. Go with your drink. I have nothing to do with it. I can't accept such offer. Just go with it, please. Okay, you mean I should go? Go with your drink. I have said it. How will I say it? How many? How many times before you understand me? Just go with it. One week, one problem. Two weeks, two problems. Three weeks, three problems. Four or four, four problems. What kind of human being are you? Huh? No, just go with your dreams. I'm not interested. Hey. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. For how long? For how long will this keep reoccurring? Eh? Nah. We'll be in this house one day and they will bring our daughter. Dead to us. Eh? Annabelle. I demand nothing but the truth from you. Tell your mother and I what is the cause of the problems that has made your husband to beat you up every now and then? Because it's important we know so that we know where we are coming from yes. and what is happening. Or are you not serving him his food at the right time? Why Nika Imalu Kenemenu? Or do you deny him access to your body at night? This is another important one. Please, we want to know. Do you? Papa. Mama. Mwam. None of those things are the least of the problems we've encountered. <sighs> okay, Mama, could you believe my husband beats me up? For interrupting him while having fun with him in his dream. You know what? Kalan. Is he mad? What's the dream? 
was there any iota of conflict between both of you before he slept? The truth is, this boy do not love her. Kaya quickly. We don't need to be going round and round. This boy do not love her. He doesn't love our daughter at all because no sane man in his right senses will lay his ugly dirty fingers on his wife on a flimsy excuse like this. Flimsy very, excuse, very flimsy, not possible. Very flimsy. Ah. Huh? Earlier, he gave me money to go to the market to shop for food stuff, as every normal husband would do to their wife. I went to the market. Coming back, I met my husband sleeping outside. As a caring wife that I am, I woke him up to go sleep inside. Papa, that was it. It, it beats me to a point that I did not realize what was going on again. Is there this girl? You became unconscious. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> it's not possible. I mean, this whole thing is getting out of hand. Do we have to wait until he kills her and brings her back to us dead? Then we will act. This is getting out of hand. Annabelle, come out oh, before it's too late. Mom, I'm talking to you. Come out. You don't have to stay with this, a man that is sane. A man that is mad. My daughter, listen to your mother. You have to come back. You will leave that marriage. Papa, I'm sorry. It's not possible. The day I got married to my husband, I promised him one thing, which is love. Mm. That promise, I will fulfill to the end of time. It's a must. So what do you, do you understand what, what, you are, what you are doing, Annabelle? Do you really understand what you just said? You are before me and you are expressing love for, for, for a goat, for an idiot like John. <laughs> eh? Look at her, sitting right before me. Tell me that he lost John. Listen, it seems something has gone wrong with you. And don't say that rubbish before me again. Don't disturb your life again. You had her right to say what she wants. You can't say that rubbish. It's her choice. Annabelle, our choice again. You have not chosen to love a man that might treat you and beat you on the smallest excuse. Up here? Well, Papa. Ma. Every successful marriage you see out there, their slogan is for better, for worse. Sometimes can be sweet, and most times it's bitter. And you have chosen the bitter part of marriage. Is that right? Marriage counselor. But marriage. Go and die if death is better for you. I choose the lover. Since she has chosen the bitter part of marriage. You have made your choice. I chose bitter part of marriage. Oh, come out. No problem. And I pose him on You think I will die when you die? I say, come. Because it's your choice. Why has everyone decided to abandon me in a time like this when I desperately need the assistance? I knew you all know how my best friend. You are not left out. Why? Look, John, no one hates you. Alright? Everybody just hates your character, that's all. You know what I mean? I don't know how, whatever my character is, it is not supposed to break the bond of friendship that exists between you and myself. F for crying out loud, we've been best of friends for years. Onoha, please, I want you to, to do me this favor. Follow me to my in-laws' place. Bikonu, my mother and my uncle have refused to be of help to me. You are my last hope. Uh, and do not forget, I am my mother's only son. If anything happens to my marriage, or if anything happens to me, Look, John, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Okay, I wish to follow you to your in-laws' house, but understand me, this is totally beyond my discretion. I can't. 
Come to think of it, if your in if your kinsman refuses to follow you to your in-laws house, then who am I? I mean, I, I don't want to risk it. Okay, just take a bold step as a man, meet your in-law and then sort things out. Alright, whatever that comes out from it, then you just have to face it and that's it. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't. Try and go there. Try and sort things out with them. How about you? You both are welcome. I'm very happy you came. And what should I offer you? Don't, Don't bother. bother. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. Annabelle, we actually came to express our words of sympathy to you yeah. over what happened between you and John. You say, a marriage, one should not always expect the good side of it. You should prepare your mind, prepare yourself to also experience the bitter side of it. Because if you ask me, I would say that marriage is a two-sided sword. Thank you so much. Thank you both. I appreciate your concern. Thank you so much. I just believe with time, John will come back to normal. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Thank you. But babe, babe, we are friends. And I believe we are entitled to share our predicaments together. We ought to know the cause of this continuous fight between you and John. Yes. What is the problem? To be candid with you both. If you ask me, I can't tell. I can picture at the reason for this constant fight. John was never like this. I believe with time, by God's grace, everything will come back to normal. Hey, with, with time, it will change with, with, with time. Time. Are you saying that you intend going back to John after all this beating? <laughs> of course, yes. He's my husband. Sure, the what is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> Marriage is for better, for worse. Wait, 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 Annabelle. Why such decision? What is the problem? What is wrong? You wait, don't wait, understand. Wait. Can you please explain? Understand what? Annabelle, we demand an explanation. We yes. demand an explanation to this rubbish. Yes. Can you what is wrong with you? Can you? The day I got married to my husband, I promised him one thing, which is for better, for worse. <laughs> it's I'm beating his part of it. No, it, it was just a mistake. John didn't mean it. Don't take it personal. Hmm? Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Please, think about this. You don't need to remain in this marriage. Do you want to die in this marriage? <laughs> Annabelle. God knows I can never hear something like this. I can never try. It. You will. Me. When the time but comes, you, know me you will. Are you, <laughs> me? Are you wishing that? You know me. Well. No, no, no. Jackson. Huh? Isn't your face is like this as it's your mom. Do you think I'm as foolish as your irresponsible husband? Respect yourself. Oh. How dare you call my husband irresponsible? Oh, that one is her. There's no like S or band there. Come, let, let, let's let's relate, let's talk. Could you imagine that? Ijeoma! When has they slap you? Why are you laughing? But what is this now? Ijeoma denied me sex yesterday after I was fully charged. Eh? I almost beat her up, but I, I heard myself because I'm not like some ho, some irresponsible husband who beats up their wife for, 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 for st stupid reasons. Eh? See you. See, now I understand. Now I know why this boy normally beats you up often. Because you deny him of sex. Eh? You have been giving him this problem. You don't allow him access to this. Your, this your do -do. Will, 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 will you take your hands off me? I've seen it that your man frustrated you. If it's about sex, 
I give it to my husband anyhow, anytime, any day. In short, back to back. Most often, he likes it like this. Ah, Ah. Uh-huh. Hey! Uh, Even in the bush. <laughs> huh? That one is up to you. I never mentioned the bush. We do it sometimes in the bathroom. Ah! That one is the sweetest! Otto! That one is the sweetest! My sister, you you fool! <laughs> From the back. <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah, the bad girl. <laughs> hey, hey, you see, you see why they say that who get head no get cap, and those who get caps are not get to wear and put. So after all the servicing, mm. all the things you've been doing for him from back and forth, all the whipping, all the, mm. he still has the guts to beat you up. You see, that boy, that, that boy, that with you. If John no get me, sure. Eh? John must be related to somebody that has witch around their family. He must somebody must get witch for his family. He must get related. Now you be witch because he's related to you by getting married to me. I don't know about that one. But the point here is that I have good news for you. Yes, I'm gonna <laughs> love you. Oh, yeah, no. What's the news all about? <laughs> Michael, this son is back from Bodoibo. Hey! Yes! The, the, that's not even the good news. The good news is that he came back with enough money, enough money, too much money to erase poverty. Pawam. I said it. I said it. Mm -hmm. Michael is an hustler. Oh, and he's going to make that's it. That's why they say that what God has joined together, Jay, <laughs> or which cannot put us under. <laughs> the other one is that. He said he's ready to get married. Ah, that's good. That's a good I place. did not hesitate to tell him about you immediately. You see how happy he was. This boy was just dancing. As if he was still a virgin. He was just dancing. Anyhow. The point is he said he will be coming to see Papa. So listen to me carefully, Annabelle. Anything that concerns Jay talk more of John in this compound. Ah! Jackson, I don't want to hear it. Because I cannot die in poverty. I cannot be born in poverty and die in poverty is not possible, which means there's no evil for me. So the point is, erase John from your memory. And now I want you to be thinking about Michael. This is you your wearing. Stop. Look beautiful. And this is sexy, not sexy. Looks beautiful. Anything that concerns Michael, be thinking about Michael. Stop wearing Beshit. Hey, be thinking, Michael. I need you if you're stupid, That's Michael. Eh? If not for the fact that you are my elder brother, mm. I would have told you you've gone mad. You just said it. Then let me make it straight. You are mad. Because obviously, if you're not mad, you'd have remembered that I'm a married woman. Ah! Please excuse me, don't you sweep your leg. Oh God, this thing they pay me. What do this thing that title? to? Married woman, married woman. You're not married. You're suffering. Eh? You're suffering. What is your problem? Listen, forget saying they bought me for poverty. I will not die poor. It's not possible. This boy has brought good luck. Embrace it. The point here is that I don't really. Okay, no wonder they said it. I said, ah, talk him. John. So, John gave you overdose of love potion. He could not even give you one cup or one spoon. He gave you overdose and you said, you could not reject it. You swallow him. Look at the way the thing is. But well, let me tell you something. I will not be your life to see you go back to that idiot. You must marry my girl you like it or not. I swear sweep this place from there to dog your grave. They will dig your grave. They will bury you here because I'm going to John. Please leave this place, let me sweep. You go to John. Watch me sweep. You go to John. You are sweeping your money. You go, you go to John. Watch me sweep. What happened? Look. Michael, what's all this? Put your mask on, straight tell You can come here and unleash your, unleash your frustration on me. Who's up? Endo. You're pretending as if you didn't hear what I said. Wait. Do you know you are indirectly insulting me? Do you know? How dare you on earth accuse my mother of having affairs with Mazokoi? Calm down. Uzoka, calm down. I'm not trying to insult you, nor uh, uh, hurting you. I am trying to show concern here. Yeah? 
You don't have to be angry. Your mother and the ma say, okay. I've been having a, a, an affair in this village. I'm trying to tell you here. Wait, if you don't believe me, eh, just keep a close eye on both of them. You come to realize what I'm telling wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. These things you are telling me now, do you have evidence to prove this? Zamia, one. Mm, I may not have uh, concrete uh, evidence Ooh. for now. For now, but uh, what you have to do hmm, is to put a close eyes on them. Okay, the other day, I saw your mother and the mother uh, uh, okay, sharing a lot of pleasantries in this village. No, you have to believe me. <laughs> um, 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 I've heard you. I've heard you. See, eh, after my investigations, and I discovered that everything you are telling me here eh, is fake. I swear to God, I will deal with you. I don't care if you are my friend or not. All I know is that I will personally deal with you. If I discover all these things you are telling me here are fake. Mm, first of all, go and investigate. Eh? I'll be messy investigation. You deal well with me. Okay, say me. Uh -huh. Mama, please, tell us the truth. Since our father's death, we have been observing Mr. Okoye's constant visit to our house. Especially when we have all gone out to fend for ourselves. Mama, please, what mission is this man? Especially when he visits at night. Mm. It's really of moral value for a man to visit a widow the way he does. Mama, I want to believe that Okoye's visit to our house is on a neutral note. Nothing immoral is attached. Mama, please don't be offended. It's not as if we are accusing you of anything. We are just showing concern. Yes. I've heard all you said, my children. But I must implore you to believe me. Mr. Okoye's visit to this house is for the benefit of all of us. As you all know, Puzoka, your brother, is too young and tender to take up your late father's responsibilities. Especially the kindred meetings. Okoye is always here to inform us about whatever that happens at the meeting. That's all. Nothing more. Mama, he should minimize his movement. The villagers may just come up with some negative notion about his frequent visits. Exactly. I've heard what you say. It's okay. If that's it, that is what is bothering you, I will talk to him about it. Better. Hmm? Better. Are you happy now? Yes. Thank you. I said I'll never set my eyes on you in this house till I join my ancestors. What have brought you again here? Better leave before I return or I'll feed your remains to the vultures. Leave, leave this house now. My husband, please, please. Let's just hear him out. Biko. Let's just hear him out and know what he came for before you take a decision. Oh, no, Biko. Eh, young man, we are listening. Be my, my in-laws, please, I came to beg you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm so sorry for everything that happened. And I promise you, I will never lay my hands on my beloved wife again. Never again. I still love my wife. Please. Oh, Mosiam! Poet. We've had a beautiful poem. Listen, we've had it, but leave this house now and never come back. Go! Can't you hear me? I love you and I always do, okay? 
Please go home. I'll come join you soon. as mother and daughter. This your attitude is pushing me. Don't force me to denounce it. Mama, I'm sorry to say. I know this might hurt you. But if cutting ties with me will bring peace between me and my husband, I don't care. Mama, I'm a woman. I'm a married woman for crying out loud. It feels bad to be separated from the one you love. So you are now blaming us for keeping you away and safe from the man that wants to send you to your early grave. Eh? Tell me what is so special about this man that you can't just let go of him. Can he fall obu? Can he fall a man before our own presence and you wants to send you to your early grave? What is it? Eh? Hey! 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 You once advised me that marriage is made up of ups and downs, setback and frustration. That's what marriage is all about. Mama, I've promised to love my husband, and I will do that at the end of time. Yes, my daughter. I told you that was because I thought he meant good for you. But when it became a mom, eh? I know how you feel. I know how you are feeling about this whole thing. But from every indication, okay, for that word love is dead between both of you. All I can see is just mere infatuations. Infatuated love. That's what I'm saying. Because a man that loves his wife dearly in his heart, uh -uh, he will not lay his hands on her. Oh my try yeah. Infatuation, you call it. Same infatuation make things work for you. When Papa was beating you, Papa was playing you like a football in this cup and Mama, you didn't go to your maternal home. You stood by him. Yes. He beat me, which I told you because you we were not there. But only one thing kept me back. One is that my time is different. Your own time is now. If I did not have children for your father, God in heaven knows I would have long left him. There wouldn't have been you. The only reason I stayed back when he was beating me, as you said, was because of you and Jackson, your brother. You want the same thing that happened in my own time to repeat in your own time. And I was talking to us, no, I'm okay, I'm If you go not go to love. If you are, you are dead, you are dead. And actually protect you from the hand of man that wants to kill you and you don't want to understand. Okay. Just think about this. With his constant beating on you every minute of the day, how can you settle down, both of you, to conceive? How will you give him children, these children that we so much desire to have? How? Yeah? You're just having rest because you're here. If you have him in the house, or if you equate her. Stop crying, my daughter, because I meant good. Before we will me like Love, love, love.
Uh -huh. Too soon. I was coming to meet you. What happened? There is a problem. Uh-uh. Which problem? Do you know that as I was coming back from Uchide Kasa, mm -hmm. I saw Mazio Koye sneaking, sneaking out of her house. Huh. Are you serious? I'm very serious. I saw him. You saw him? Sneaking out from her house. God knows Mama. what they were doing inside. Eh? Mama, this man can never change. Eh? Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go. Uh, we are not going to take this in this room. I will not take this nonsense again from both of you. Did you hear me? In case you have forgotten, I am your mother. And you both should be mindful of what you said to me. Did you hear me? You should have respect for me. Or else, or else I will curse you. What nonsense? But, but mama, what was he doing in your room? Hey. See mama, mama you are wrong. This is not what you promised our late father. Why have you gone contrary to your promise? Mama, you failed us. Will you just shut up before I slap your mouth? Nonsense. If you forgot that Sally walk out there. And listen, before I will come back, you make sure that you have done whatever I asked you to do in this house. Did you hear me? If you forgot this, that Sally walk out there. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know Mr. Okoye again, eh? I, I'm sure of what I'm saying. I saw this man this afternoon, eh? My eyes can't deceive me. He was here this afternoon. I am sure of what I'm saying. I see me, I see me whether I'm sure. I am sure. You know you talk too much every time your mouth. <laughs> Who doesn't know him in this village? I am sure. This is my eyes. I, I saw him with my two eyes. I am sure of what I'm saying. Go to Amakos's shop. I want to go get something. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> I don't think you need to stress yourself. When your brother comes back, he will go and do that. Go in. Hey, Papa, it's urgent. I'm menstruating. Don't you get bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're menstruating. Yes, Papa. Then you need pad. Mm. Huh? Okay. Yes. But. Mma! Mma, Oliako! My dear, come. Oh. Oh. My dear, please, I think your daughter needs your assistance. Get it for. Nothing. Tell her what you just told me. So nothing now. We don't go 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 back to the house. You watch over our daughter. I'm with me. Did she do anything? My instinct tells me she wants to run away. Run away? What? Yes. Please. That's what I perceive. Please watch over her. What is this? What I tell you, my own daughter. I think you can fool me around like you fool those boys, eh? Eh, eh, I can't wait.
Sarah. Open. Mama. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's my husband? Where is Open? My dear, please, I think uh, your daughter needs your assistance. Get it for. Nothing. Nothing. Tell her what you just told me. How can you go? So nothing now. We go, 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 go back to the house. You watch over our daughter. I'm with me. Did she do anything? My instinct tells me she wants to run away. Run away? Yes. Please. That's what I'm oh, saying. It's very possible. Please watch over her. What is this? What I tell you? My own daughter. You think you can fool me around like you fool those boys, eh? Eh, eh, I can't wait. What I feel for you is something, something I can't express. And I love you. If you say so, but all I can promise you is that I'll try my best to ensure that this whole thing doesn't repeat itself again. I know you, it's what's repeated itself. You know? <laughs> I won't die for love, oh. <laughs> no, I wear your shoes. <laughs> I want some water. Thank you, Mama. Hey, love you, Mama. See, woman, this house will not be comfortable for you unless you bring back our daughter. Hey, go and bring her back. Get in her quiver. My husband, so guys, I don't understand you at all. Ezokunini, you surprise me so much. What don't you understand? Because the way you stand sometimes baffles me. Eh? How can you be standing like this? You are the one that made yourself chief security. Abria, uh -huh. you asked me to go to the backyard and watch over your daughter, is uh -huh. it not? And then you stayed in the front yard and you are looking after, watching out for her. Who said she escaped from the front edge? I am telling you! Telling me what? She escaped from the backyard? No! I am very, very sure. My daughter escaped through the front yard. Who's from the backyard? Who's backyard? I was awake like this. I, 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 I was here too. I was watching. I so what is it now? Why is your mother? Which animal is that? The animal that escaped in front of your father. Your mother allowed animal to escape from the backyard. No, I asked my mother to watch after animal. Papa, Papa, please, it's okay. Why can't you just stand by? I just stand by one decision. Tomorrow you'll be here. The other side, you, you, you will be here left and right every time. What is your problem, Jackson? Why will you take sides with your mother? 
Why will you suddenly conclude that I don't I, because I know you, Papa? You know me. You can sleep walk. At times you stand and you are sleeping. Me? I was awake. So, so I was I am disappointed in you, son. You know what? Look, look, look at what he's saying. I am sure she has come there and you're not blaming me. I, I walk, I walk in the backyard. I did no not see that. I, I was away. Come on, I know you're well sharp. No oh, problem, no what? problem. I sense conspiracy. You have conspired with your mother to be against me. Why? What do you mean, why? You came in and then you're taking side with her. No problem. But listen to me. You won't have any peace in this house. Except to bring back our daughter. If you don't do that, let me see you come inside this house. Sign her. Go. Sign your mother. Boss will have big problems. Your father will come up with big drama. Conspiracy. When, when did that one come, come, come into what we're saying now? Mama, mama, it's okay. I know. Uh, but I, I'm, 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 uh, from experience, if two people they quarry mm. that the judge case, the only voice I pass behind the line, you allowed her to escape. You see, my look at my idiots. Just look at it. I thought you were saying something sensible. How can you be, be talking like that when I was very, very sure that I was awake at the back end? the matter too serious, my man, you're lying. Look at that way. I'm off here. How can I, how can I lie? He escaped through the front edge. Oh, let's go inside. Go put his side. No, your father said I should not enter the house. That I should go and find another. Wait, we got to find no mama. No, I won't enter this house. I won't enter. I want to go and look for another. Mama, let's face. I will. I will. I will. Peace. No food. No rest. Follow him. Joe, I'm not going. Papa. Ah, good day. Now, how are you? How's your mother? She's very fine. You're welcome. Hey, please, ma. Is Amara in the house? Amara? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think so. Amara! Amara! Ma? She is. And what are you doing here? Baby, take it easy. Will you shut up? It hasn't gotten to this. How many times have I warned you to stay off this compound? Uh, Amara, give me see. What is it? Why are you talking to him like that in my presence? Mama? This guy here is a cheat. 